projects, one after another. Check this out. Not good. Not good. Look at the bow in that. It just happened in the past several years. Um, and it's and it's getting worse quickly. So I'm going to do some work on that. And I'm going to show you how to straighten that up. Might blow your mind, but uh, yeah, we got to straighten that up. So get ready. I have got to straighten this 8 by 8 out by pushing it this way, right? Now, what I need to do is brace off of this piling here with using that as a brace put pressure with a with some two bys going that way and two by four should work um, I've got to start with one kind of in the middle of this bow right here what I'm going to do is put relief cuts on this back side one two three roughly open that up and push it that way then I'm going to fill those with uh with shims and just uh, finish them off, sand them off. So let's get started. Um, of course, that's, you know what that is. That's just a regular jack, a far, like a farm jack from Tractor Supply. I've, uh, I, I ran a screw into it, the base of it, laid it sideways like that. Pretty, pretty precarious and dangerous. So you don't want to do this kind of stuff and have that fall on your head be weary and I don't know if that jack's going to want to fly out one direction or the other I don't need a whole lot of distance because I'm going to cut my two by first two by four from here to here also please keep in mind that you can make the openings that I'm going to show you with just two by fours you don't need a jack you can cut a two by four or two by six or even a four by four if you're more comfortable with that a little bit wider than this gap and just lower it down you know steady on one side and lower it down on the other hammer it down until you start to push that post out all right that is not bad it looks like it will work let the jacking begin Okay, now here I'm kind of hiding behind the, the post in case things go south while I jack it out just a little bit and expand that uh, so that that board, so that that bow gets corrected just a little bit at a time. Now you need to just start positioning boards that are a little longer than your gap is wide. Okay. Now remember, I'm making three cuts, so I'm, I'm going to eventually have three boards spanning the gap. And I chose to just kind of sta make them stationary on one end and lower them into place with the jack, and it worked out perfectly. Now the idea is I'm making three separate cuts here and, you know, a couple few feet apart to just kind of uh, relax this timber a little bit so I can move it in the direction I want to. And you see that I'm, I'm operating a skill saw and a reciprocal saw to accomplish this. Pretty easy task. You're going to need a long blade with your reciprocal. Now I'm just going to start uh, hammering some shims in and uh, just making sure my 2x4 is in position and uh, has everything expanded the way I like it. And I'll keep moving.
I'm going to do is I'm going to tack these boards so that they don't fall with the exception of the end of that board and of course I, I can't tack this tack this on both ends tack that end and tack this end of this Those tacks don't need to be heavy duty. These are just brads. This way I can move them if I need to and open those joints, open those expansion joints up and uh, let things move a little bit. But this end I want to stay where it is roughly for now. I might, I might knock it up later, but for now I'm going to tack it. I think that you will be able to see that it is relatively straight now. If you can see that post behind there, you can kind of check the line of this post. Okay, and also you want to make darn sure that you're using treated shims. You don't want to put regular wood in there because it'll, it'll rot right out. You know, you're, you've got potentially a belly of water here in the gap that you're creating. Fill it with treated. Okay, and then you just just bang back and forth, you know, up and down. Just move around. Get, you know, of course, I'm going to bang a little harder than that until you get everything worked out. Okay, now look how straight that is. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if you can see it lined up with the one behind it, but it is. There we go. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. Um, I'm not uh, worried about the little discoloration of the wedges. If you want to, you can always treat that with a stain or something. I'm not, I just, just stuff like that just doesn't bother me. I spend my time up there when I'm, we're outdoors here or by the fire over there. So I hope that helps you with your project. I know I'm delighted. Be sure to check out the comment section below. Uh, maybe people will share useful information on addressing these kinds of problems, some more tips, and also be sure to check the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay well.